asking me here, what's happening to the world? And I like to use the term the matrix change because most people understand what the matrix is. You either watch the movie or you understand what a matrix is and uh, being a limited structure for you to you know, live out your existence. And there's a massive change going on on the planet. And uh, I like to provide these updates here every now and then as video format uh, for those who could use a little bit of, you know, a little bit of assistance guidance in a way that uh, it's not really what you think. The mind has taken over this place. It's the, we live in the mind. That's the matrix. That's the objective matrix. I'll get into that in just a little bit. Most of the material and everything that's being talked about right now in this video is in my book. But uh, those of you who haven't had the chance to read the book or um, uh, don't read or whatever, I'd like to listen and to um, have this you know, format for you to be able to receive the information. Um, and I usually provide these when I hear there's some massive upheaval, upheaval going on in the world. You know, uh, I do listen to the news only because of my position in the world. I'm being a public figure and providing assistance and guidance to those who need it right now during the shift. And the shift's going to last as long as you, the individual, needs it to. You know, you've heard things, well, it's going to get better by 2030 and all this. Well, yes, because we're doing the work here as individuals. So without that being said, um, there is massive, there's a, there's a massive surge uh, of clearing happening right now. And there's a, a very important thing is to remember during everything is that it's being brought up. It's being lifted up to clear out. So it's not staying. It's not like it's going to stay here. You have so much fear. There's so much. Uh, we live in the world of information because of the technology. And see, there's so many groups and subgroups and all these people that are supplying this information. And there's really nothing to back it up but just a bunch of fear. And again, it's the mind uh, saying, you know, about the aliens and all these reptilians and the takeover of the, uh, the country of the people and it's like we're going to go back to like, uh, you know, primitive times, you know, as far as how we're going to live. We're going to be set up in like concentration camps like uh, Hitler did with the Jews and, and many other genocides that took place. And uh, that's why I'm here to provide this video. So hopefully it will give you a little bit uh, a background of what actually is happening here uh, as a reminder for some of you. Uh, if you have the engagement, not all of you have the engagement. So if you're here in the setting right now, you're here for a reason. And thank you for joining. Uh, and again, you can find most of this in my book. Uh, but what is happening to the world? Let's look at the sun. The sun is changing. It's been changing for quite some time. It goes through its cycles just like any other planet does, any other you know, star it's happening, the uh, celestial body goes through cycles. And so it's happening, it's a really uh, hot cycle right now, and uh, it's going to get hotter. And at the same time, you have a world that has uh, many of the, the cycles, the carbon cycle, the oxygen cycle, nitrogen cycle, all, all in balance because of a particular species, our cells have been here, and we've been interrupting the ecosystems. Now, it wasn't all, there's this whole thing, it's all our fault. A lot of us carry this Gaia, um, kind of like a curse in a way. It's a, it's a sin. It's like Gaia is like God, and, and we've done something wrong to her. So a lot of us who are not, not religious, but we've created a sort of religion of Gaia, you know, uh, repenting in a way for our sins, that we've, what we've done wrong. Now, granted, we have strut around not saying thank you and please for, for a pretty long time, yes. And we have disrupted the ecosystems. We have disrupted life on Earth. Uh, but not what science is making it out to be. And this is why I'm here to tell you. I don't know all the answers. I'm telling you right now, I have a massive inkling into this. Um, so, and I also work very closely with those celestials who are holding the space for humanity right now. And you could say I am a facet of them. There's not them and then me, Metatron, Uriel, Archangels, and uh, Sanat Kimura, who is a being uh, of a very high frequency who has been holding the space for planet Earth for the uplifting of mankind so that we can come to our knowing of our divinity. And this is the, this is the whole deal what's going on, folks. And it's not in dogma. 
It's not in spirituality. It's not in science. You're not going to find it anything anywhere outside the self. Uh, and I found come to this knowing because I was able to come and, and you know know the self, and you'll know you'll know the world, you'll know creation. So this is how this information comes through. It's not just Muriel the human here making it up with her head, brain, and then giving it in to you listening. You have many beings of light and frequency coming here and speaking through this voice, and then of course first my higher self. And they, you know, right here alongside. And they're here with you, too. If you're listening here right now, it's about you because you're making the changes um, that is happening to ease the minds of people around you. And uh, even if you may not be realize that yet, that's okay. Because we're real, the mind got really good at trying to fix the human. And if you're not okay all the way during the day, then there must be something wrong. And then if you get that right tomorrow, then you'll be okay. No, that's not how it goes here, folks. Um, so anyway, we have a changing in the sun. We have a massive changing going on. The cycles, it's heating up the core of the planet. When it's heating up the core of the planet, that's, key, that's heating up the, uh, you know, the ice and the caps are melting. At the same time, you have disruptions from the species. The humans have done that, at the, but not what the sun is doing. The sun is creating a massive change in this entire planet. It's weakening the electromagnetic field. We have one around us. Every planet has one around it. And uh, it's down to nothing. And uh, we're getting bombarded by all sort of cosmic rays, cosmic debris. Um, and so we're kind of really not protected too much. That is also why all those changes going on, it's also creating uh, environmental change. Okay, So if you have a hot sun, uh, you know, of course, life depends on the sun. A photosynthesis, of course, that's a given. But life, I mean, if you, the sun blinked, I mean, you don't know. Uh, it would just go dark for a little bit. You could just imagine. Uh, go into your imagination for a little bit and see what really would take place if the sun actually blinked. So it's a very important component here. Uh, when it's going through a hot cycle and then you have a species on the planet that disrupted the ecosystems, you have both happening at the same time. So you have a simultaneous happening. Now, with the weakening of the electric magnetic field, then you're going to have, of course, we're, we're tiny. We're tiny little creatures on the planet. We have electric magnetic field too. Well, it's also doing that. It's changing the life pulse, the frequency on the planet. Everything goes generally to about a 7.83 hertz per second. And uh, that's how life, all life functions. That's how it moves about and does things. And if there's disruptions with that life pulse, if it goes up or down, it fluctuates, well, then you're going to have uh, outcomes, byproducts happen that uh, science can't explain a lot of this stuff, folks, and they're not going to. Uh, there's going to be a time where you're going to be amazed, like, wow, they're actually kind of talking about this consciousness thing here. They don't understand consciousness and energy. So if you put all this together, this is a little bit scientific, but that's what you just need a little bit here. Uh, and so it's doing all, it's changing the frequency. And so our brains go to a particular way of brain waves too. And we match that. You know, we're here. We are the Earth. You know, try jumping off of it. You really can't. Uh, so we have, like, um, we're interrupted by our own. Brain waves are interrupted by those fluctuations of frequencies. You know, I know as a shaman, uh, when you beat a drum, like the ones behind me, uh, at a particular pace, it lowers your brain waves from beta, which is right now. This is the normal thinking everyday waves. And it goes down to a theta wave, which is kind of like um, right before uh, awaking and uh, sleeping, kind of like twilight zone. Your brain waves are down a little bit, and you literally see the spirit world. You see what the Earth sees. You're now in the frequency of the life pulse of the Earth. So there's no separation between the here and the there. There's the spirit world, and then there's this uh, physical world. Uh, so um, that's how the shaman can be in two worlds at once or many at once. And one foot on, one foot off. Uh, or the one person who's realized, uh, who is experiencing body and enlightenment, same thing. Um, so that life pulse. And when there's things, there's things that happen um, uh, at a certain way where it makes the human frequency fluctuate and go hot, spikes. And it happens usually during thunderstorms. And you can do your research on this. But when it spikes up to a gamma level, because you have you know, the delta, which is sleep or coma, then you have theta, which is right before waking or sleeping, and then you have beta, which is right now, and then you have the gamma, and it goes high up. And it goes really steep spikes really high. Now remember, 7.83 hertz is regular. We've had spikes lately that go from like 40 to 90. 
and you're going way up into the gamma. And so what happens is, is it can create extreme spiritual relations, but at the same time, it can create some massive mind shatter, some massive quickening of the individual. Again, remember, everything's coming up to clear. It's coming up just to leave. It's just coming up to leave and to clear up. So uh, you can draw that to the world stage. Draw that to the news, what's happening in the world, uh, you know, with the shootings going on in America and all over the planet, really. Uh, you have wars that aren't being discussed. You have massive upheaval in all institutions, political institutions, financial institutions, military, uh, churches, everywhere. Everything's being affected by this. All of those changes. The sun is changing a lot of what's happening on the planet, and then it's affecting the climate, and at the same time, it's affecting you and I and how we function. Now, all of this is taking place, but there's something happening on a grander level that is a fifth dimensional. <laughs> uh, when you get into fifth dimensional consciousness, there's no words. The words break down. So uh, in order to talk about it in the space and to mention it really quickly, is that uh, within the matrix of, um, of creation, uh, uh, within the individual, the awakening within the, in the individual's matrix, coming to know the self, the realization that you are God, the kingdom is within. When the individual is coming to that awakening, you're changing all the whole grand objective matrix. So you have that agreed upon reality, and agreed upon matrix, where you have a city, everybody, uh, most people agreed upon it. You so you build the roads, the cars, uh, the buildings, and you have structure. That's an agreed upon objective reality. That's an objective matrix. Then the individual within that has their own matrix. So you have all these individual matrices within the grand objective matrix. And when the individual matrix changes, then that affects the grand matrix. So you have massive friction happening uh, within the individuals, within communities, and you can blow it up to the world stage. So you see, folks, you have this multidimensional happening and it's not just one thing or another, but when you get to the macro, you can see what's happening to the micro. And it gives you, me perhaps explain a little bit uh, what's going on in the world news. You hear, you know, it's bigger than it used to be. So that's, this is where we come into the quad. This is where we start talking about duality has doubled. So you have more than uh, what has happened before. Uh, the war on terrorism started almost 20 years ago, but that was started a long time ago. But it really got up, and it got really up to clear out. So it's been taking a while. I mean, you have two decades, and this is in time and space, folks. You've got to remember, uh, history repeating, mankind repeating all of human history in a very short amount of time is basically what happened from 2000 on. And we're coming at the, at the uh, end of that uh, a repeating of that, because now what happened is it doubled itself. So take a good deep breath there, because there's no fear. This is not, this message is not about fear at all, by all means. So you have double what happened before, double duality, and then you have uh, a totally new energy, it's a neutral type of energy available. Uh, creation kind of looked back at itself and understood itself and then doubled itself and then said, I'm going to create a new. And so now you have this concept, people have been talking about it, uh, about this new earth and old earth. But the new earth, everything's inside the self. So the new earth changes and it comes about when the individual starts uh, allowing themselves to expand their knowing um, of all of who they are inside. Coming undone, I like to call it breaking open, cracking open. It doesn't have to be brutal. It doesn't have to be that way. I talk about my story, what happened to me in my book. That's why I did it for others who could use that information. Uh, but that doesn't happen, have to happen to you. Those who are coming first kind of took the boulders out of the way. We took the big boulders out of the way for those coming now into this knowing. So it's not going to be... Um, as rocky and rough for you. So, and you will do the same for others. And this is how it goes. This is why we're here doing this thing. So you have 
uh, of the quadrality. You don't just have duality here in the third dimension, which doubled itself. So you have twice as much of the duality, and you have this grand expansion of consciousness happening on the planet, the awakening, the knowing that we are the celestials, that we are the ones we've been waiting for. And it's been prophesized worldwide uh, for a very long time now. But this time now is the time we are starting to remember that we are the celestials. So, um, you know, for me, for instance, I walked around as Muriel singular for a very long time. It was just me. But I had this, I had this, like, who, there's got to be more. I had this knowing, this, like, just this, this burning coming out of me. There's, there's not just this. And I'm not crazy. And there's more to this. So that's why I'm here to spread this message here uh, from what I know, from my own personal experience, uh, from my, can, my connection to the higher frequencies. Um, and I don't say higher frequencies like there's them and then us, and I'm not higher frequency here because I'm a human. No, uh, I'm just use the words because we have to use these type of words here in, in, in the third dimension. Uh, so uh, to remind you that uh, the space is available for you to, you know, What's happening in the world really has little to do with you. It doesn't really have much to do with you. When you stop to think about what's happening in the news, before it was like you knew it was happening in your local community. But now you can understand what's happening, you know, 500 miles away, 1,000, 5,000, all over the world you can know what's happening. Before it wasn't like that. So it can create a lot of uh, anxiety and um, distrust and uh, confusion. And all these things can come up at this time because everything literally has been ripped apart to rise up and to clear out. Remember, it's just clearing out. It's not staying here. We say, yes, it's doubling itself. Well, yeah. Well, this has never been done before. We've never done this embodied enlightenment thing before. Not like this. Not like this. So that's why it's brand new. Nobody has all the answers. But together we're doing this thing. And... Uh, you know, when you're sitting in the middle of yourself, in the middle of the fire, that's where it's a really good place to be. You know, uh, it's where you, how you hold yourself, uh, your engagement to the noise out there, uh, what's going on with the climate change. Uh, maybe perhaps you have loved ones that have died in it. Perhaps you have been injured. Uh, you're affected by it. You have anxiety around the state of the world, what's going on. This message we're telling you right now. Remember your breath it anchors you. It brings you out, the mind goes back. It, we're not leaving the mind or the ego. We're not doing that. But it moves it behind so it's not up so much front. And then it, it grounds you. You know, so much chaos going around. Remember, all is well. You cannot not be okay. It's impossible. It's impossible. And um, we're having this experience now. And, and thank you for being here on this planet and helping those around you doing what you're doing. Uh, first, it's yourself. You know, it comes to yourself. As Yeshua so lovingly told us, you know, the kingdom is within. So uh, it starts with yourself, and then you'll notice everything outside of you is you. If that's your matrix. Once you change your matrix, everything starts changing. Your matrix, how you see the world, maybe you don't, maybe you're blind. doesn't matter. Your senses, how you perceive and move about in this planet changes as soon as you start changing the internal matrix. So... Remember uh, how you hold your awareness to yourself and uh, how you manage your energy and things are just coming up to leave. Um, the baggage that you carry can't stay and uh, however you are, some people didn't come to this planet to know any of this. They don't care about a consciousness change. It's not part of their matrix. They really don't care. So we're not here for, to create world peace. Uh, we certainly can't do that. There's no Superman that has come, a woman that has come to do any of that. And there's a reason why. Also, to wave a magic wand to make everybody enlightened at once, there's a reason why that is, too. So when you check in with yourself and you get quiet, that's where it's at. If you live in a noisy place, there's always a way. There's a way to be within the self. And remember, the noise that you perceive to be outside the self is really within the self. So when you calm that down... You understand it's taking place, of course. But it's not, it's not a terror to you. It's not a terror to your family. It's not a threat to the world. There's a massive transformation coming here. And it's going to stay as long as the individual needs. And so uh, 
I try to cover as much as I can within this very short message here. And uh, but just to remind you, if there's you know there's news coming on, uh, you can always shut that off. And if you have an empathic way, you can pick up on things going on. Just remember that uh, you are the world. Okay. So there's that, and there's darkness and light. It's not all. Oh, everything's going to be all happy rainbows and unicorns and everything dancing around. Yay! Uh, well, yeah, in some ways, in the reality, sure, that's their matrix. Uh, but if you look at, at the changes that are happening in the world, uh, that is there for a reason. Everything is happening and as on schedule and as it should. And your engagement matters. Where you hold your attention, where you are at. Because you're an eternal being, no beginning, no end. You're multidimensional. All those lifetimes you lived are all still playing out right now. All the parallel ones are still playing out. Some come in this lifetime in the state today, and you think it's happening, and you don't know what's going on in this lifetime, but it might be something from a past or parallel, and you, it, it's confusing. Because again, it comes back to the fact that everything's coming up, just lifting up to clear out. And it's going to take time. Uh, and that's why I'm providing these messages. I'm also providing um, uh, little uh, sessions where you can uh, just be with your breath and the stillness of your being. And I'm calling them Be Here Now. Nothing fancy, just very simple. Uh, those sessions will come when they come to me, and then I'll offer them for free. I'm also offering the webinars. I just finished up a summer series here. Um, and so you can check that out on my website, and you can check out uh, what that website is at the end of this video, um, emilioshickman.com to get the right spelling and all that. Most of you know me from Facebook, social media, uh, taking the webinars, having a private session with me, guidance sessions, uh, are extremely potent work. Um, I'm here to help activate the individual if they're having a little bumpiness uh, along the path of realization, uh, coming into all of who they are, the awareness, all that. Um, taking away the edges. Perhaps you need the edges, but I'm there to tell you that you need the edges. So regardless, they're there. There are other people doing this work. Uh, so um, whatever resonates with you. And, uh, but they're available, and you can go to my website and check that out. I have webinars coming up in September. Now, these videos here will be, uh, there will be another one um, to come as uh, I feel, because some of you really need to hear this message, and you need to feel. Uh, you need to feel us. You need to feel these these energies. You need to be here in these spaces. And uh, I can't be there all the time for you. You know, I'm living this life. Uh, you know that I'm doing now, which is actually my last lifetime. So I'm, <laughs> I'm doing what I'm doing here for you now, and I'm just allowing everything to change and wait, and just having things come to me. And it's quite amazing. Um, am I still, you know, uh, there with you as far as uh, feeling for those who have, you know, been in the crossfire of uh, gun violence or sexual abuse or anything that's happening? Uh, of, of course, but I don't have an engagement. Uh, so I'm there for, the, for those individuals, even the crossing over and stuff like that, because I'm a shaman and I deal with the death and dying and the uh, releasing of individuals and, uh, from this plane onto the next, and also bringing them into the earth plane. So I work outside all that is. I work. I work outside uh, the uh, human condition uh, of what's happening in the planet. You know, the duality and all that. But I also work outside all that is, which makes it amazing work to do because uh, I kind of take a certain. This is where where the Metatron work. The, because I'm a facet of the Metatrons. What we do is uh, we kind of uh, we it's like a circuit board um, that you use for, te uh, for electronic equipment, computers. And so we just create, we change the circuits. Uh, we either connect certain things that need to be connected for the light body uh, to come gently in uh, for the individual who is ready. Um, it's always for the ready because you will not come to me otherwise because you can't. It will wreak havoc in your entire, all of your systems. So basically what I do is I do a little bit of tinkering uh, within the um, energetic platform uh, of your uh, your vehicle, your your existence, of your where you can place this out, um, and so this is a brand new type of uh, work. It's also it goes into psychotherapy and shamanism, but I do 
transformational shamanism. I, I'm, a bri- I'm on a bridge and bringing it into um, the enlightenment arena because essentially that's what's happening to the entire planet. That's what's happening to the entire race, the human race. We are all eventually will get to the point of uh, knowing, knowing the self and being in the space of, of um, caring to the self and the well-being of you. And once that happens, that creates world peace. And so I, and may this message uh, serve you well. Uh, please contact me if you have any questions about any of the material that was covered during this video, okay? And uh, we will go from there. And uh, I thank you very much for joining me here. And I look forward to the next session. Thank you. Namaste.